Hello, this is TNT Jack 91 auditioning for the role of Tamaki Suo. Voice acting as a career has seen large growth recently, but so has the amount of voice actors out there. Except for this random search that came up with voice acting 101, but anyways, back on track. The practice of doing voice over work. Berklee College of Music defines a voiceover artist as an auditory performer who works on everything from video games and commercials to audiobooks, apps, and e-learning courses. So, what does this mean? Is there even a demand for voice actors? Uh, kind of. With the rise in animated videos because of the entertainment, business, marketing, and other categories of voice acting work, there is a need for voice actors. With anime, we think of voice dubbing first but consider audiobooks, podcasts, and radio. So with advances in technology and audio-based content comes increases in the need for people working behind that technology. The main thing to remember is that voice acting is acting, and it requires training and skills. There are vocal coaches and acting classes online, and if you check your local area, there's probably some community theater groups too. You should also have knowledge of your voice and speech, because you want to make the sounds that you want to make. You gotta take care of your voice because it's your asset. You also have to take care of your hearing because that is also your asset. You have to practice listening because you need to assess your voice and you need to be really your own worst critic. And if you consider that recording at home is very different than recording in a professional studio. You have to consider the acoustics, your space where you're recording, your equipment setup, and everything that you are doing as an actor you have to also simultaneously be a technician. Let's talk about equipment. While there are recording devices everywhere, shout out to the FBI agent listening to my phone calls, you want to sound professional. That's a little different from your phone. A basic setup consists of a microphone, external sound card, and audio software. Being a professionally paid voice actor is challenging and it requires perseverance, so you have to ask yourself, why do I want to be a voice actor? Do I want to be professional or am I a hobbyist? These are very different paths because they require different ways of marketing your talent, putting yourself out there, how you look for auditions, how you look for projects, all that really fun stuff that they don't really tell you about. The research end of things. Okay, sidebar. Let's talk about Oron High School Host Club and choosing the main cast for the fan-made production. Oron High School Host Club started as a manga written and illustrated by Bisco Hotchery in the early 2000s. The manga was adapted into a one-season anime and produced by Bones in Japan and Funimation in the U.S. If you don't know, the romantic comedy series follows Haruhi Fujioka, a scholarship student at Oron Academy, and the other members of a popular host club, at least according to Wikipedia's description. But it's honestly so much more. And I gotta make a whole other video for that. Stay tuned. It's been more than a decade since the release of season one. I know this is the point where other unnamed anime fandoms will emerge and be like, we've been waiting longer than you, we deserve it first. Or fans from shows like Fruits Basket will be like, ha, we already got our reboot, sucker. But I'm really banking on the Auron resurgence. What a tangent. What does this have to do about voice acting? Thanks to Glintco, a fan-made production tribute to Bisco Hotchery, please don't sue us, we're only fans trying to express our love and gratitude for Auron. We're gonna see a fan-made production of Oron High School Host Club Season 2. So, Glintco basically put out a call for voice actors and had a team of mods auditioning approximately 82 people for the whole cast for only the pilot episode. They sent out character lines from the source material and reviewed everyone's auditions. Callbacks were scheduled and the voice actors were given live feedback to showcase their skills and ability to respond to direction. The mods wrote down notes and scored each voice actor on a 10-point scale. Fun fact, Oron has a seven-member main cast, and that's not including all the students. And there are also other important characters, too. I mean, someone actually has to go to the host club. This is where the voice acting comes in. We needed a talented cast that kind of sounded like the English dub, but not really because, again, don't sue us. But enough for me. Let's take a look at the original auditions. There were four libraries in the school. 
Why is it so noisy everywhere? If you don't feel like studying, just go home. If you want is hard, shouldn't you do something else? Being cursed by someone who doesn't consider other people's feelings will have no effect on me at all. Can you? You can't even buy your own uniform. What's with that lame clothing you're wearing? Haru-chan! Do you want to eat cakes together? Usa-chan is a stuffed rabbit for honey senpai! <laughs> I'll be the host club's new manager starting today! Welcome to the Oran Host Club, rare scholarship student, Haruhi Fujioka-kun! Can you? You can't even buy your own uniform. What's with that lame clothing you're wearing? Hikaru! If you're a fan of the show, are you getting kind of excited? Because it's been more than 10 years, and I'll take anything at this point. Not anything, but I need more Oran. The fandom is alive in my soul. My cold, dead soul. If you made it this far into the video, comment below your favorite character. So we talked about voice acting broadly. We have the equipment, we have the skills. Let's practice actually listening to some lines. Special thanks to Connor, our Tomaki VA. Take a listen. Why fine, thank you, princess. You look beautiful as always. Why fine, thank you, princess. You look beautiful as always. Why, fine. Thank you, princess. You look beautiful as always. Okay, so we just listened to three takes of the same line. For the pilot episode, I can actually tell you that we had 10 hours worth of lines. So we were listening to each line, and I promise you that we were listening to each take of every single line, and all of the voice actors gave multiple takes of each line. Pretty crazy, right? I mean, after all, we do have 275 lines in the pilot episode. Let's put our director hats on. What did you think about the performance of each line? Think about the delivery. Think about the intonation and the affect and what you want to convey through the line. Do you need to listen to it one more time? Okay, take one. Why, fine, thank you, princess. You look beautiful as always. So what I like about this take is that it sounds smooth. Like, it sounds like Tamaki is really putting on the charm for this girl. And when he actually knows how to talk to a girl, unlike when how he talks to Haruhi, he actually is very charming and very charismatic. So you can kind of picture the scene. You can picture Tamaki wooing a girl in the host club or any something like that. It's your classic Oran scene. Since we pre-recorded all lines, let's see if we like the second take better than the first. Take two. Why, fine. Thank you, princess. You look beautiful as always. Can you hear the difference between the first take and the second take? The second take is really emphasizing you, so it actually changes what the line is conveying a little. You can also hear there's a difference in vibe to the sound. There's a different energy behind take two compared to take one. Take one was a little more smooth, charismatic, suave, but take two was really putting energy behind those words. Now let's finish up listening to all of the takes. Take three. Why, fine. Thank you, princess. You look beautiful as always. Take three has an even more different vibe than take one and take two. You can hear the kind of the high class aristocratic, if that's a word, vibe. It's a different kind of Tamaki. And is that what we want to go for? From a performance and a director's point of view, we know that Tamaki has a lot of energy and his mood shift. Sometimes he is growing mushrooms in the corner, and then other times he is just running across the host club, taking care of everyone. We want to keep in mind that all the moods Tamaki will shift and phase from, and because he is so dramatic, we need to make sure that his performance has somewhere he can go. His energy can't always be a 10, and then stay at a 10, and then he's angry at a 10, and then he's sad at a 10, because that's not really how people express themselves. So in the context of the scene, I actually like take one best. Let's take a listen. Why, fine, thank you, princess. You look beautiful as always. I like take one best because it has a subtle range of emotions, and yet he's still conveying that he is very happy to see a guest. So, funny story, there are actually stage directions that go with this line. Tamaki is supposed to lean over and then charm the girl and say the pickup line and all that stuff. 
And in the original performances, we didn't actually leave room for that. So we had to do a retake, majorly. Take a listen. Why, thank you, princess. You look beautiful as always. Okay, that was definitely the one. First off, we could not fix that gap in post, so performance-wise, we had to get it again. Thank you for doing that, Tomiki. But then it has the energy, it has somewhere to go, it's conveying the charisma and the charm that Tomiki has when he's not talking to Haruhi. So you can actually hear the influences of take one at the end of this take, as well as the energy from take two. Good job. Hope this gives you an insight into voice acting and what Glintco is doing to make a fan-made production of Oran High School Host Club Season 2. Check out our table read bloopers, because there's nothing wrong with a good blooper. Also, we will be posting scenes from the original anime so you can try your hand at English anime voice dubbing. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time!